guys uh, today's video is gonna be a little different I just want to go through and sort of shout out to the YouTube channels that have inspired my planning process over the last two years um, since I started like watching bullet journal videos on YouTube um, I know everybody in this community is so creative comes with this, all these great ideas um, and so basically I'm just going to like list um, influential YouTube channels that I have enjoyed uh, over the last couple of years and I will link to all of them in the description down below. So of course the first video is going to be the original Writer Carol um, video of like how to bullet journal. I was lucky that um, when I first discovered bullet journaling, I don't know, I must have just googled bullet journal um, and so it popped up with the actual video like pretty quickly on so I didn't get this sort of false sense of oh everything has to be gorgeous and pretty um, before I started to like be attracted to it. Um, so I watched that Writer Carol video. I implemented everything like as I watched it and um, just sort of built up from there. Definitely a good opportunity like whenever you're feeling like I know I've said this before, whenever you're feeling a little bit lost in your uh, bullet journal setup, I think it's a good idea to go back and watch that original video again to just sort of ground yourself in like the real basics, because I think his bare bones system works really well for a lot of people. Um, the first like creative bullet journal that I really got into, like uh, was really inspired by was Kim, Tiny Ray of Sunshine. She works with Ryder, I think, in a lot of ways, but um just something about her layouts and I liked that her website was organized like by weeklies and dailies and monthlies and had these different posts of different ideas of how to like make a weekly layout because a weekly layout wasn't part of the original system so I knew it was something that I wanted so I was looking for ideas and I implemented one of hers and um, just starting from there gave me somewhere to start um, and also she has just really nice handwriting and it's great. Um, a couple other channels early on that I started to watch a lot of, of course, Boho Berry. Everyone knows Boho Berry. Um, Alexandra Plans. I know I've mentioned her uh, when I was doing my April videos. I did a, a Dutch door. That was definitely, she taught me how to do that. She also taught me about rolling weeks. Um, and she uses colored pencils in her planner, which is pretty cool. Um, and then as far as ideas go, I know I've mentioned him before as well. Bujo Boosted is this channel. He does some really creative things as far as like structurally. Um, he's the one who came up with the idea of the, um, the quantity tracker that I used back in my minimalist Bujo challenge in August. Was that August? Um, might've been September of last year. Um, and so just, he does more of like about his go the focus of his channel is less about decoration and more about function and I think that's really cool because he's very creative in the way that he makes his planner functional um so then when I started to move away from like a bound moleskin journal uh the first person who really convinced me that a traveler's notebook was a good option for a bullet journal was uh pretty prints and paper she I'm not sure she does still. I think last I saw some of her videos, she had moved on to a pre-printed planner. But for a while, she was doing a um, a traveler's notebook system. And while her system didn't really look much like what mine was, it really got me going and my cogs whirring. And I had been thinking about just continuing on in my bound journal. I still had enough for another like six months come January. But then after watching some of her videos and starting to think about what I could get done in a, a, a traveler's notebook, I decided to switch to the traveler's notebook in January 2017. And um, yeah, I don't think I could go back to a bound journal at this point. I use a bound journal for work, but not for my personal stuff. And then of course, my very favorite, Carrie Harling. Um, I found her after I had started getting into Chic Sparrow. And she is like, a big fan of Shakespeare also. She does traveler's notebooks and also some ring journals and she kind of goes back and forth. I love how practical and um, focused on just like getting stuff done and the actual nitty gritty of how to schedule your day. She is so organized. Like, uh, I'm gonna get the number wrong. I think she has seven kids um, and a, a husband who works 
like on the road a lot. So she has a super busy life and it is so cool to see what she manages to do with all of that um, in her planner. And she keeps everything color coded and tidy and all of her side projects. I just, she's an inspiration and I just love listening to her voice. Like sometimes I just turn on her videos and listen to them in the background just cause I love how happy she sounds all the time. So um, yeah, hi Carrie, if you see this, I'm a big fan anyway. Um, also, Allie Brown, uh, she's the one who introduced me to Chic Sparrow in the first place. I was looking for different brands of traveler's notebooks because I knew that the Midori sizes weren't going to work for me. Um, and so I was like, what are the other brands? And Allie had all of these videos about her Chic Sparrow collection. Um, and she convinced me that they were like a really good quality notebook that I needed to look into. And it's thanks to her that I even have the four that I currently have. And now I've moved on to a ring planner, and that's really thanks to Monique, who is actually a subscriber of mine. Um, I subscribed to her back because I saw that she made some planner videos, and she posted a video of the, um, the same ring planner that I'm using back when she bought it in March, early April, something like that. The minute I saw the thumbnail of her video, I knew that it was something I was interested in. Um, because I had been sort of in my mind playing around with the idea of a ring planner, but I didn't want to go back to personal size because I enjoy the field note size, pocket size for traveler's notebooks, and I didn't want to get bigger again. Um, and so when I saw that she had the pocket size rings, they were affordable because it was only like 37 bucks, but still like a good quality piece of leather. Um, and that like the size was something that it was feasible to do. Like I, I thought that because I didn't do all that research. I thought that a uh, Filofax pocket size was pretty rare to find inserts for, um, but it turns out that it, it works really great and I'm so glad I found it. It's all thanks to you, Monique, thank you. Um, and then finally, since I've started getting into, man, I'm so excited about these pla Peanuts Planner Coat inserts. Um, I've been watching a lot of Planning with Alo videos. She's a, um, she works, I don't know, works with, she has a, a code for Peanuts Planner Co's because she's like a promotional member, I don't know what the terminology is, but she has a really pretty planning style and um, I have been watching a lot of her videos too, so shout out there. Uh, and that's everybody I have on my list. I'm probably forgetting people. I know that over the years I've seen different ideas that have given me ideas and um that I've incorporated into my system, possibly without even realizing it. Definitely things that I have realized but have forgotten who actually gave me the idea. I think that happens to a lot of us in the planner community and maybe it's not great. Maybe we should be better about giving credit. Um, it can be hard sometimes when there are so many great ideas out there. So to anybody else who I have been inspired by and influenced by, even though I don't know who you are and you don't know who I am, thank you. Um, and I hope that we as a community can continue to inspire each other to become more productive versions of ourselves. So that's today's video. Check out the links to all of those YouTube channels in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.